John Workington here from Michael's Camera. Today I've got the Teranex AV from Blackmagic Design. And I'm going to open the box. And, wait, I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to make it work in real time. Very exciting. So, let's get right to it. Again, a classic Blackmagic design. Beautifully, beautifully, uh, beautiful artwork on the, uh, on the layout of these boxes. It's going to be very minimal once I get it open, I know, because I've opened enough of these. What do we have? Oh, for, it's a 19 inch 1U rack mount device, uh, universal power input. All the details on the back of the box uh, are showing you front and back panel with various usage uh, scenarios. So um, I've used this before. This is a brand new one. I'm putting a second one of these Teranexes into our Michael's camera mobile production unit. So let's open her up. So I sort of know what to expect. We have the welcome card. Again, it's this sort of like nice bronzy colored black magic design thing. There'll be a little message in here from our illustrious CEO, Grant Petty. And the user's manual will be on this little SD card. I don't know if I've read the user manual on this. It's very self-explanatory. Easy product to use. Or so he says. Let's see if I can make it work. So, put that aside. At the, uh, in the foam here, as you see, there's the back panel. And there's the front panel. And we have some rack mount ears for it for future use. That's all good because it is a rack mount device. And it looks like we've got some screws here and we're good to go. So I'll just leave those in the foam. I'll put this over to the side. And yes, there's the screws. So let's do that and let's pop it out. Okay. I might just move the box down to the floor here so I've got a little bit more room to do everything. Okay. So Built like a tank, as expected. Um, it's a 19 inch rack mount, one U high device, exactly as you expect. It's got a complete section. Uh, it's got a little display here so you can see what your video is that you're converting. Oh, I should explain what it does. This is a format converter. It will take any oddball video format you can dream up and convert it into any other oddball video format. So, why do I want to use these things? In our current production system, we have standardized, because we're in Australia, at a 25 frame per second uh, rate, 1080p 25. So 25 is good because it gives us as much light as we can get, and of course it synchronizes with the light flicker in our rooms, and that is the standard. And the cameras that I'm currently using, which are Panasonic PV100s, don't really give me a lot of choices. They run at 25 and they run at 50. They do not run at North American standard 30 and 60. But when trying to do some advanced programming here at Michael's Camera, for example, when we have presenters coming in, putting on lectures using their iPhones, iPads, and computers, those devices don't run at 25 frames per second. They don't run at 30 frames per second. They don't run at 50. They always run at 60 frames per second. So how are you going to mix into a live broadcast something at 60 frames per second with the broadcast rate that we're running at 25? And that's where the Teranex AV comes into play. So that's why we need these devices. And they operate in real time and they do spectacularly good conversions. They will upscale, they will downscale, they will take interlaced, make it into progressive, they'll take progressive and make it into interlaced. Um, they'll even take analog inputs. So very, very powerful device. So let's take a look at the back panel here. I'll take my glasses off so I can see it. We have our AC power input over here, standard power cord, witness exhibit A. We have our radio, oh, these are references, out. this is all this time code stuff that we need to worry about. I don't worry about it, but they're there. In, in professional applications, you're, if you're using time code, you'll have them. We've got audio input analog with professional XLRs. We've got consumer audio input over here with uh, stereo left and right RCAs. We have an HDMI in. We have an SDI in, A and B, so there's two choices. We have an HDMI loop out, so whatever we feed in, the same thing comes out, so that's not converted. We've got a SDI loop out A and B. We've got an optical output, so you can use fiber optic connections with these things. I haven't used those yet, but from what I understand it, some of the Blackmagic devices, the cameras can use these fiber optic links. You can run like a three mile fiber optic cable, so it's incredible for distance. 
Then of course over here we've got our HDMI out. Now this is be our converted output. Again, we've got that on SDI in an A and B, so we've got choices. So you can actually use this in a lot of splitting. If you need to feed a signal to multiple spots, it's so easy to break it out with these SDIs. Lastly, we've got, oh, this is really interesting. I didn't even get into this. This is called channel A, B, and C and D. This device will make It'll take any video signal you can feed into it and we'll split it into quadrants so you can run a four television video wall. I'm dying to test this out. It's gonna be fun. I don't have four SDI televisions right now, but you can make a very affordable video wall with this thing. So uh, all you gotta do is have four TV sets um, and you will need SDI input to the TV sets, but. Blackmagic's got you covered because you can use the microconverters to take the SDI outputs, make them back to HDMI, and then feed four consumer TV sets and make a video wall. So, really cool feature. Okay, what do you say we plug it in and make it work? So, for this test, I'm going to use a portable 60 frame per second video source. It's called an iPhone. Very handy. And I'm going to plug this thing in. I've got an SDI cable back to our television studio, which is directly in front of me. So let's get things going. I need an Apple HDMI to lightning adapter to get the phone to hook up to our device. So we're going to plug that in. Conveniently that's unidirectional. I can do it upside down, right side up, doesn't matter. It's a lightning connector. I will plug one end of a short HDMI cable into this. And I'm going to plug that into the HDMI input. Let me just turn this around so everybody can see my wiring. That's going to go into the HDMI in of the Teranex. Got to make sure it's the right side up. So there we go. So that's going to be our input. Let's get power applied to this. Obviously this isn't the cable that came with it because I've already got a Velcro wrap around this, but it does come with a cable, power cable. So I've got some power over here. Let's plug that in. Okay, and connect that up. You should hear the fan power up. These devices do not have power switches. Blackmagic Design has gone for a very minimalistic approach on all of their products. They do not have power switches. When you apply power to them, they turn on. There is a, oh sorry, I stand corrected, there's a software power switch on this one. So it's always on standby though. But. There's not a physical power switch, it's got a software switch on it. Now, what we need to do is get our HDMI cable here that's going to ride, run back to our switcher. And we're going to plug this into output A. So, now, let me turn this around so we can actually see what we're doing on the front panel of this. And we're good to go there. So let's actually turn the device on. And that should wake it up. And let's turn on our iPhone here. And I've actually locked my aspect ratio of my phone. I better undo that right now here. Uh, unlock the aspect ratio. It will work no matter which way it is. And we'll get the phone. So now the phone is in normal mode there. So now what I've got to do is get this guy set up for input. So let's make sure we're on. So we are setting video on HDMI input. And lo and behold, if you zoom in here, you can see that there's the iPhone screen on the built-in screen of the Teranex. Now, we know that this is 1080p, 59.94 frame per second, which is what an iPhone runs. And we now need to set our output. So we'll go over here to output. And the output is currently at 1080i, 59.4. That's not what we want. We know we want progressive, so that's P. So let's just set the output to P. Output has just been changed to that. And we know that we want it to be 25. There we go. And now we just want to hit change. So we hit the change button over here. And now our output should be 1085, or sorry, 1080p 25. And the iPhone just went to sleep. So let's wake it up again here. And there we go. iPhone is back to normal. And it's rotated. I see it on the screen. And are we seeing iPhone output on the television studio? We have now converted the iPhone output from 1080p 59.54 in real time by the Teranex 
into 25 frames per second and we've fed it into our broadcast. So it's as easy as that. You've basically just got input and output over here and you just simply press the right button that what you want to do. The display on the Teradex tells you everything you need to know and um, that's it, really. Out of the box, plug it in the wall, hook up a device, convert a format. And then if you really want to do something complex, you could read the manual and figure out some more stuff. But that's what I need it to do, and it does it perfectly. So if you ever need to change a frame rate or a resolution in real time for a live broadcast, you can do it with the Terranex. And I gotta say, it's a pretty good looking box. So that's the Terranex AV from Blackmagic Design. Great Port Melbourne company. We're out of Melbourne here at Michael's Camera. We love to support them and they make beautiful products. Thanks a lot for uh, joining us on this little unboxing video. Hope you like them. Hope you can subscribe to us on YouTube and share and comment and um, we'll keep the videos coming. Anyway, take care and we'll see you next time. Thank you.